12 hours later. No, not, not quite now, no. Well, technically it's several days later, but <laughs> in game. I did one thing, I did one quest in the Highlands and I got some progress, but like way less than I would hope. Then I did, uh, I assisted somebody in a different area and got nothing. And I'm like, okay, I can't just trust the idea that just doing missions will get progress. I have to pick up tracks specifically. So I went back to the Highlands and just ran around in an expedition and picked up tracks for a while. And I think that was the shit because that got like 80% of the meter in one go. In fact, I don't even know when I hit the goal because clearly I made it. So I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I could have, I might have spent a lot of time not making progress, I guess. Back safe, that's what I like to see. Our investigation's turning up something new, and this time, is something big. Signs are pointing to a new species of Elder Dragon hiding in the Coral Highlands. Something that the Commission's never seen. Which means none of us has any idea how to deal with it. We're starting from scratch here, so expect a bumpy ride. Let's see. About the only other thing to report is that the first Wyvarians have been showing themselves a lot more frequently. Seems like they're going- they're trying to tell us something about the Elder and the Highlands. But it's not exactly clear what they're trying to say. The tracker's out looking for them now, trying to get to the bottom of things. Yeah. If she learns anything, I'll make sure you hear about it. For now, keep up the investigation. The Fury of El Dorado, again? I still have never done that, but I think that might be like a big group raid sort of situation. That might not even be feasible to do alone? I don't know. I don't know. It's not a story mission. If it's not a story mission and I can't easily access it in obvious ways, then you just move on with your life. Speak with the field team leader. No, oh, I need to talk to the guy in the back of the room. Wait. He's the guy that just talked to me. Back already, huh? Good to see you back safe. We identified our elder in the Coral Highlands. That was really weird how you had to go and talk to the same guy you just talked to. The Abyssal Dragon, Namio. After hearing what the first Wyvarians had to say, we're sure of it. Yeah. Pinning that down would be a relief, if everything we knew from the scant logs and reports weren't so... unsettling. The creature had an eerie glow. The scene was pitch black, drab in color. Its scales bore every color of the rainbow. Don't look at me. I'm scratching my head here too. Anyway. We've had a lot more reports come in. Something about strange light flashing up in the higher regions of the highlands. That's gotta be it. Let's go. Get your gear together and head out to the Coral Highlands once you're ready. A light from the abyss. This unidentified elder dragon is in the Coral Highlands. Let's head out, but proceed with caution. That's a Banboro over there. It's funny. When you fight earlier monsters from the same expansion, it, you really see how much powerful you got stats-wise, because they just fucking die. Like, they really don't stand much of a chance, honestly. It's kind of the effect of doing all this progression is that you constantly get, uh... Did I eat right before? Yeah, I think I did eat, right? Got up. I feel like a crazy person. Yeah. Uh... But you're constantly making progress with your character, but all the monsters are constantly getting stronger. And you don't really feel that until you go back to a previous monster and you're like, Oh, Benboro is just getting trounced. The number of attacks I do that completely stun him and or like knock him out or knock him over just over and over again. Like you feel completely in control of the fight because you're just blazing through it. It almost feels cruel. 
A light from the abyss. Slay Namiel. Seven two hundred gold, please. Please don't kill me ever. I would like all of the money, just so I never have to worry about it ever again. That's the dream. I have no idea how much game is left. <laughs> like, they're just... One of the main things you have to go on is just the idea that you're pursuing a particular monster, but in this case, the particular monster is gone. It's like when Zora Magdaros left in the first game, and you're like, uh... But he was, like, the guy, so, like... Now where's the story go? And the game kind of just limps along for a little longer and keeps introducing new Elder Dragons for a bit and then it just ends where you fight a super duper ultra Elder Dragon you've never heard of before and I'm like, oh, that, yeah, that guy, the villain of the game, obviously. It's like how uh, Velkana and Nergigante are the bosses that are on the covers of the games, but neither of them are anywhere near the final boss, apparently. But there's also not much of a story structure, or really a story in these games. Even this one that seems to have tried so hard to add a story. It's mostly just kind of... Blah blah blah, research blah blah blah, disruption blah blah blah, bigger, badder Elder Dragon. Oh my god, another El- Oh wow, an Elder Dragon! And they're always like really amazed and surprised every time. But it's like what happens every five minutes. And then eventually one of them is apparently the last one in the game ends. And <laughs> you're like, oh! I guess we're out of game. But then it's not the last one, this is when the credits roll, because then they add update, patch, and Elder Dragons, usually. And so you have epilogue chapters, and then it just kind of peters out, and you're like, eh. I guess you're kind of done. Or, if you want, you could, you know, play this game, like, forever. If you, if that's also an option. In which case, here's the Ultra New Game Plus prestige versions of all the monsters where they've got a bunch of like stars next to them and that means they're bigger and tougher badder dudes now but yeah it makes a uh, it makes placing where i am in the story challenging and i'm like uh is this the finale not me all sounds kind of like a big deal <laughs> but maybe not maybe maybe another one maybe we just found valazak Maybe the maybe it's the part where I fight a trilogy of elder dragons that are not that are not the final boss, but also aren't the one on the cover. That's they keep hinting at this Nergigante. They keep hinting at a Nergigante encounter. Although didn't we see him last time? They flew away or something? Am I am I forgetting? So clearly we still have a Nergigante encounter to look forward to, so this can't be the final boss. It could even interrupt this quest if they, if they wanted it to. <laughs> but now I think we're going after Namiel, and that's not going to be, like, subverted or anything. So I guess then... At the bare minimum, it's probably Namiel, then the Nergigante encounter, and then a final boss. But that's the bare minimum. There could be another guy before the Nergigante fight, or another guy before the final boss. That's just the basic structural foreshadowing, is there has to be a final boss. It's probably not Nergigante, because that'd be disappointing. Because we've already fought him. A variant being the final boss would be underwhelming. Even though they are hyping it for multiple missions, which is a weird thing to do for an underwhelming enemy. Unless they're really gonna wow me somehow with a... ...reskin of the same dude. We're going all the way to the top. Uh... I'm gonna go down here? Okay. Oh, I think there was a swinging spot. I'm unpracticed at the... ...traversal tricks that are available around here. A lot of Nargagante stuff around here. Are they involved? <laughs> yes.
Well. Rude. <laughs> kind of the last place you want to see that kind of fire is the highest point of the entire map. Amiel. Where are you? Nope. That's cool, though. It's like a proper water-oriented enemy. Because the Coral Highlands didn't... I don't remember if it had a lot of explicitly aquatic-themed enemies here, really. When you think about it. This is kind of their proper follow-through. It's got, like, the jellyfish thing going on. With little lit spots throughout its body. It seems to have power over water and light or something? I don't know. Is this even a w an effective way of getting to where... Not really. They just won't let you hop down there. I think. Maybe I can? Because you only hop down at specific locations. Shit. Help me, scout flies. Oh, is it here? Yep. How hard could it be? Ha <laughs> ha. All that dramatic build up, and now he's just kind of roaming. You dick. I have a time limit. Come back here. Would you like to land somewhere? Did he just go all the way back to the top after making me come down here? <laughs> Alright, uh... This is at least closer. It's basically just where I landed. He totally went back to the top. What a dick. Visually, Coral Highlander, Highlands is what, like one of my favorite locations in the game. I really like this map, but I do not love this specific monster location. And unfortunately, a huge number of the enemies tend to go there when they're dying, at the very least. If not just in general, here and there. Here, I gotta redo the climb I just did! <laughs> I've already done this climb once this episode, I'm doing it again right now. It's a partial skip. Yeah, and memorizing all the wedge beetle locations helps, but it's been a while. Oh, are you taking a little nap? Oh, it's fucking adorable. Let's see how that goes for you. Uh oh. Uh. Water blight, so my stamina's fucked. That's not good. So he has water blight, which gives me bad stamina regen. Which is a problem for a hammer person that constantly blows their stamina. But on top of that, it looks like hitting their head. Ah! Hitting him in the head did not cause him to... Oh god, that's not... Hit. There we go. Whoop! Hitting them in the head did not cause orange damage, which means that his head's not a weak spot, which is a problem for me too, because that's my thing. It's like my thing, dude. Dick. Let's weaken that up if we can. Does he have any weak spots normally? Like his wings?
Oh, he has two plights. I'm definitely not resistant to either of those. Is that a fucking laser? Where is your weak spot? Do you have a weak spot? Anywhere? Oh, I'm stunned. Oh god. I don't know where the light thing came in from the cutscene with the darkness and whatnot. But at the moment, he creates water puddles and then electro electrocutes them. Which is obviously its own problem. Keep clear of that current. Get caught in it and you'll be helpless. The current? It's all water. Everything's water. And I can't do critical damage to his head because no part of his body appears to take that kind of damage. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here besides just kind of keep hitting him and hope for the best. There's not a- ah, fuck. I lost that vitality mantle pretty quickly, actually. Nope. Uh oh. What? There's this jellyfish move. I guess one minor mercy is he doesn't seem to have tail attacks because his tail isn't really independent. Yep. God, so much of this area is covered in water. Don't shock me. That is wing? Where was that? Thunder punch. <laughs> that was a little safer than that. I meant to do the. I meant to plant my feet. Oop. This is a bad place to fight him. <laughs> Did he soak up some of his water? Is it Mario Sunshine rules where it's ammo that he has to conserve? Does it did he go did he go get it back so that he could fire it again? Is he like Brachydios? Or which uh The mud one. Is he like the mud one? Where his his defenses and status change as he uses up his resource? Ooh, big damage. Rude. Got a free meal, though. Lightning.
Dude, that back leg is fucked. It's so armored. Ow. Oop. Well, that's not good. I'm about to die. Oh, that's lightning. Yep. Just kind of a dick all around, isn't he? It's probably his tail I just hit. Ah! Fuck! Dude! Like, everything in the entire area was covered in bad. Holy crap. I am kind of at a loss here. I think I'm kind of fucked. It does not... I don't feel like I'm in a great place right now. Uh. Ah. I'm concerned because he doesn't have any weak spots. Every single part of his body seems to take minimal damage. Which makes it really hard for me to do my job. <laughs> Oop. So like, even ignoring the fact that I could have three carts and I'm out, there's the issue of my- ah, fuck. Well, I'm half dead already. Fuck. Fuck! Dude! 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 Dude, 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 dude. Fuck you, fuck you. Jesus Christ. I've been here for like one second. Holy crap, the projectile spam, huh? Okay. Okay. Fucking help out, buddy. Jesus. I need to- no, I need to use one of these. I, need, I should have used that first. I need to have my meters full. It, it, the slurping noise. But yeah, even ignoring the three carts part, I have to worry about, like, am I going to be able to do enough damage fast enough? It's kind of concerning when you're dealing with the fact that he, uh, has no weak spots. Every part of his body seems to take minimal damage the entire fight. Fuck. And I have lightning, water, and water physics to deal with. So he has crowd control, he has stun... He has damage zones where he can electrocute you and instant kill you, basically. Like, I was not very unhealthy when that happened, but he got me. God damn it. Oh, I still took so much damage. No, fuck. Shit, break line sight. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Ah. And I'm stunned. I'm stunned and water blight and thunder blight and that missed! Oh my god. On top of everything else, he has a laser. Everything's wet. Fuck. Nah, <laughs> I tried to use the slope. No, no, no. Fuck, I, I can't. I have like no chance to react. Jesus Christ. You're still trying to get up from the last attack, and they're like, here's seven more attacks. Half of them are projectiles, and some of them are damage zones. And you're in the damage zone. What, you didn't think I had from the seven things that happened to you ago, that you, when you first got here? Jesus.
Look, I hit him, guys. I did it. At long last. Where am I? No, no, no. I fell off. Why did I fall off? Grant hit his head that whole time. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm stunned again. I'm gonna die. Shit. This isn't going even slightly well. No, no, move, move. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I? Move? Why can't I... Oh, I'm fucking climbing. What? That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't even mean to do that. Is that how this works? No. I don't remember. I can never tell which slopes. I don't remember which platforms let you do a backflip off of them. It's so weird and niche. It's a useful ability to be able to use, but I don't know when it's available. Like, I can't run up the vines to do it? Is there a spot I can attack to make him have less lightning attacks or less water? Like... Does he have weak spots? Or ammo reserve spots? Fuck! That's the instant kill attack from before. Get out. I can't get out. The entire area is water. I'm dead. I'm stunned. I die in one hit. I die in one hit. Is he running away? Oh my fucking god. I am so fucked. Fuck, we're already down 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure he runs away because he's bored, basically, and not because I've done, made any progress, so that's not good. Oh, no. I think I need to come in here with, like... <sighs> electricity resistance, basically? I clicked on the wrong menu. My brain is so fried from trying to do the fight. I can't, like, man navigate menus correctly. <laughs> nope. I don't think there's a closer camp. No idea what his, his weaknesses would be. When somebody's water elemental, you usually think, oh, I'll hit him with lightning. But he's lightning elemental. Fire's probably not great. That's probably not great news for me. Yeah. God damn it. Oh my god, it's his first time showing any kind of weakness. Oh, it's always the last hit that doesn't land. Like, oh, sometimes exclusively. What? He's so vulnerable now. What's happening? It's always the last hit! Every single time! It's like perfectly timed to be a useless combo, I guess. 
Is he running away? No. Why does he suck? Why am I doing damage to him now? That's not even... It doesn't even have those four lines around it that mean that you're... That they're taking the damage that way because of the... Claw or whatever. It's, or it's normal orange, which means that he's just vulnerable now. I don't know what changed. you. Fuck you! That was lucky as shit. Oh my god. Thunder wave! Ah. I'm just getting lucky right now. Like, I'm not even doing this. He's just missing his attacks at this point. Ooh, don't like that. No. trying to find the spot to attack, but he, I just needed him to, like, stop moving for a second. Nope, get out! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Fuck! It's brutal when you know you want to get out, like, ten seconds before you... you even start to move and it just doesn't work. He was like, sorry, this guy doesn't have the kind of turning radius. You committed to that action a long time ago and it's gonna we're gonna see it through. You're a man of honor apparently. Oh. That has never hit me. Hey that technically hit him, I guess. That why don't you take damage anymore? I don't know the rules. Uh, this fight has a mechanic that I don't understand. And it's funny because there's a lot of other mechanics, like this lightning in the water and all the physics shit that's happening and the conduct conductivity. It almost kind of feels like, a, like it's enough, you know? <laughs> but on top of all that, something causes him to be weak or strong, and I don't know what it is. I just did orange damage again. Oh, uh, damn it. I thought I was rolling through it. Well, it technically was. <laughs> oh, fuck. new? What is this? It was like a big multi-stage version of that attack. Oh boy. 
That's I got sucked into a weird part of his body during that attack. That's not I don't think that's where I was standing. At some point, it's like I, got, I guess it just hit his flank because I'll never reach his head. <laughs> he just turns away from me like he's doing keep away. Fuck, that's the big one. And that's a lot of water. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus Christ! That was so far away! Holy crap! Dude! Not looking good. Not looking good. That's also not looking good. But, uh... I need to figure out what the mechanic is. Because I'm not doing damage to him. So, like, I don't- I'm not- <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, complete- Like, I'm, I'm not gonna make it in time, regardless. So this whole thing feels really pointless, like I'm wasting an hour of my time. I don't understand. I have no idea how the fight works. Oh fuck, I forgot to, to do this. I forgot to restock my items too. Dude, I just got here. Don't waste more of my time. Don't go to the top! Hmm. He's technically under me. That's good. Fuck you! <laughs> ah. Head damage is back. I don't know why. What the fuck? Shit. Fuck again? Calm down. There seems to be a zone right here where you can't get water. So that's good. I don't think you can put water on the net, which is good for me. He's back to white damage, though. I don't know why. It's probably something like... There's other guys. It's probably like the mud guys, where it's like armor that's coming on and off. But I can't see it visibly. And I have no idea what how to control it. So even knowing what it might be doesn't give me the power to fix the problem necessarily. I'm happy he's taking some goddamn damage now. Ah! He finally hit me with this weird wing jellyfish thing. No, don't fly away. This was a great spot. Dude, you didn't even last, like, one health, bo health boost thing. Damn it.
Ah. Yeah, actually, let's let's just fly back to here. <clears throat> Somewhat weirdly, like it almost does seem like a usable. Uh... Well, first I have to figure out how to damage him. But after that, like, it might be viable to specifically get them to flee from location to location. Because once the water builds up all over the place, I'm obviously in trouble. Like, I'm aware of that. I just don't know what to do about it. <laughs> like, maybe you shoot a dung pot in their face and make them run away? Fuck. How do you- the fuck do you- that's so hard to dodge. Fuck you! Jesus, this fight's been happening for five seconds! I'm about to faint. There, there it goes. Fuck you. That was bullshit. Holy shit, that was bullshit. Like, these attacks the enemy has are so powerful that if he just does them in the right order, he can just fuck me. Like, the amount of crowd control he has and the, the, the like, insane range that attack has. Like, I cover you my giant projectile attack that just covers the whole map, and then, uh, and I electrocute you while you're still trying to recover from that. And then while you're trying to get it from that, I just hit you with the thing again. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you for all of those ideas and everything you just did. Uh. All right. So I'm going to want water and electric resistances, especially electric resistances, because electric is the big, insane, one-shot kill. I think that happened twice? I don't remember if it happened twice or not. It ha the first death was like a one-shot, because I think my health was pretty healthy. But I just was gone, right out of existence. This unidentified elder dragon is in the Coral Highlands. Hmm. Let's head out, but proceed with caution. Hmm. <laughs> All right. And my resistances versus... yep. <laughs> my water and thunder resistances are negative. This is the, uh... Kind of the trade-off. You get the gear that gives you... A bonus to a type of damage, and that also makes you weak to that, uh... That also makes it so that you're only good at the type of damage. Uh, sorry. You, you get gear that makes you better at a type of damage. But it also makes you only really resistant to that kind of damage, because the two are, tend to be paired together. But that's not especially helpful, because if you're fighting somebody that's weak to your element, then they're probably not using your element, which means being resistant to that element's not especially useful. So those two things don't really complement each other. You're kind of only you're kind of always only getting one of those benefits at a time. And in this case, I'm getting maybe neither of them. How do I talk to the person with the book? Um, it's really hard to know where things are sometimes. I think part of the issue is that they have these icons. But none of the icons mean anything to me. I guess that's the re yeah, that's the plant guy, and that's the that's a bit of a bit of a bit of you book people. There we go. See, the icon on the screen isn't books. It should be books. Then I'd be like, oh, that's the book people. But it's like it's I I couldn't tell you what that icon is, honestly. There's a decent number of icons where I honestly could not tell you what they are. And that's kind of the, the issue. So I'm trying to find them on the minimap. I'm like, I don't understand. Let's get these updates. Alright, Monster Field Guide. Please tell me you can tell me something about this guy. It's weak to fire? You can break its head and its claws. Is the head being break- was I breaking the head? Is that what made it so I could hurt that part? Then did it come back? 
But there's no mention of there being armor phases. Like, uh... What's, what's Shima calls them? Uh... Radabon's just breakable, it's not special. Girototos. Yeah, like, there's their elements... Their elements change. Yeah, here their elements change based on their status. But it doesn't explicitly say that... It just, yeah, well, it says when, when covered in mud. That doesn't necessarily rule out the idea that the current one I'm fighting has armor. It just, its armor might not change its elemental resistances. An Elder Dragon coated in water, able to freely control lightning. A unique organ allows it to pump electricity into pools of water it creates, causing massive bursts of steam. Emitting water causes its coating to decrease. And it becomes vulnerable when dry. Use Bright Moss and Under Slinger fire to remove any sor nearby sources of water. Bright Moss removes water? Uh... Okay. Huh. I would have never made that logical connection. I figure Bright Moss is kind of a flare that flashes at people. Like, why would they go to water? Like, I wouldn't expect a flash grenade to take out a lake. <laughs> So it's vulnerable and dry, so I have to figure out how to make it dry. Which is not entirely clear just based on this. Except for Bright Moss, but even that... Hmm. That's two birds, one stone, though. If you can get rid of the water, not only does that reduce the areas he can electrocute you so effectively, but it also apparently gets rid of their ability to have armor. That's, that's the core mechanic. Here's the problem. Being able to easily locate Bright Moss. Well... There's map filters. The map gives you a lot of information. You might be able to find Bright Mass... Bright Moss on the map. And then via that... Hmm. If you can find Bright Moss on the map, then you can probably just make a point to pick it up between each run. Part of the challenge might be f being able to find the Bright Moss effectively. Like, quickly and efficiently between each fight. Whenever he runs away, go find Bright Moss for the next fight. Uh, cause... Searching a whole map can be chaotic, just visually. We'll see. I'll see what armor I can craft first. Er... Eh. We're still ten minutes shy of a full episode, technically, so let's just do Let's look at the store now. But, I don't know. I never make- I never want to make choices during an episode, armor-wise, because the urge to not just sit there silently reading things makes me not make the best choices, necessarily. Honestly, the fucking tree is so complicated that half- and, and kind of unuser-friendly to browse. Just looking up questions online is often the fastest way to, to get good information about what gear would be helpful. This is a research-heavy game sometimes, where that's just, like, the easiest way to make real progress. Um... Can I turn off compare? I don't really want to compare, I just want to see what they have. It's telling me what I'm going to lose, and I'm like, I don't really want to see what I want to lose. I just want to clearly see that what's listed on each item. Uh, this interface is a lot. Let's see. Resistance versus Thunder. So, Baroth has some water weakness, 
but good thunder resistance. Kadachi has some thunder resist, but horrible water defense. Full negative. The ingot armor gives you good thunder resist while having no uh, downside with water. It's kind of good news. You don't want to have negative water. It also makes you better at thunder attack, but we know thunder will be useless. Yeah. I was thinking, like, ideally I'd craft the ones that don't have thunder attack on them, but that, the windproof is the optional one here. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of thunder attack, and I don't really want that. Hmm. There are some options. Might go with ingot armor. The thunder points will be wasted, but the thunder resist will be nice. See, that's the goodness. That's the good news right there is thunder resist plus 12. And then the set already gives you. Yeah, it'll take me to 27. And my water to zero. And at 27 Thunder Resist, you'll then be immune to Thunder Blight. I think Thunder Blight makes you get stunned more. And stunning is like the worst thing in the entire game, practically. I hate it. Just that doomed feeling of just sitting there completely still waiting to die is the most brutal effect. I have plentiful resources of every single thing required to ma make this set, except Bathysite Ore. So I'll have to find out where to get that. If I commit to this particular set, we'll see. And then maybe I can get gems for water resistance? I don't know if I have any though. My gem, my gem collection always feels like garbage. Water resistance jewel. Hey! Water resistance is plus 20. Defense plus 10. So I can just jam three of those in. I actually have that set. I also have Thunder Resist. Hmm. Why is my resist negative? So my helm has negative water. Even more negative water. Okay, so Anjanath is weak to water and thunder. And Diapolis is weak to thunder. I mean water. Hmm. So maybe I should be looking at a water set then. If I get a, a water resistance set, I can get I can make it a good amount of progress there. I can get the thunder entirely through gems. I can do either of them through, through just gems though. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm trying to think about how to get uh, improve for my current stats, but that actually, that doesn't matter though. I'll be resetting to zero functionally. I, I don't have to compare it to Anjanath and Diablos because I'll be moving on from this set. At least for now. Which one of you has Slugger? My chest piece has all the Slugger and my helm. Staying at three Slugger would be nice. My Greaves also have two. That's just my thing, so ideally we'd keep that. I don't know. We'll see next episode what I came up with, I suppose.